when I was attacked online, the first days of my online trolls, I had never experienced something like that before. And I got into depression, literally. You have no idea what depression is. Ask me. I was in the house for two weeks. I could not get out of the house. I was not even feeding properly. I think I lost around 7 kgs in two weeks. I was depressed. I was stressed. And you know, my journey from then was a journey of stress, a journey of feeling like there was so much hate coming through. Yeah. And I think that just changed my life. I didn't want to release music. I felt, you know, I felt unwanted. Yeah. You know? I felt rejected. Because it was like, how could Kenyans be, or else some Kenyans be so mean? I mean, I had done so many hit songs. You know, then I do this one song, two songs, and the backlash is like, I mean, I couldn't connect with that. I couldn't comprehend that, and that really affected me. I started being, mo I'm an introvert, but I became a very, very, I became a high level introvert. I didn't want to spend time with people, I just want to be alone. I became a lonely, uh, a lone ranger because it really affected me. I felt like when I walk in the street or if I go somewhere, it's like someone doesn't like me or something, you know. And that really, really, that's when I started actually having the issues. I didn't know why. I, I didn't know that that was the reason, but, you know, that acid, because I had very severe ulcers. I had um, um, developed wounds in, in my track system, food track system because of the much acid that was being produced. And that eventually is what was causing the acid reflux. Yeah. And, and, and it got into a chronic stage. But for three years, I mean, it was a tough journey for me. You know, sometimes I'm not able to tell Kenyans what I went through because they may never understand. But cyberbullying actually uh, literally put me on the edge. I wouldn't lie to you. I was stressed. I was depressed. And when the doctor told me that those are the only three reasons why your condition would have escalated to that level, I knew for a fact that that was the reason. And you know when 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 cyberbullying happened to me, it was a culmination of a very tough period I was going through because I had uh, invested a lot of money in a business and I lost millions. I was bankrupt at that point. And I lost lots of money, I lost friends. I was auctioned. And during that time is when I was attacked online. So I don't have money, I'm under stress. I don't have a place to live. I'm a celebrity. And I release a song, and I'm attacked. And that is what was the beginning of, of my predicament. And I, you know, when I thought about that, I really cried. Because yeah. I was like, why would some Kenyans be so mean? Mm -hmm. I mean just thinking about it. Yeah. But anyway, I forgave them. Mm -hmm. And I decided to never live a stressed uh, life again. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's important to say that I recovered from, uh, from that, from the, um, uh, the depression, the financial crisis. Mm -hmm. God, in his miraculous ways, blessed me even more than I was before. And I thank God for that. But I'm telling you, the reason I had the sickness emanated from the stress I was going through. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's also a wake-up call for anybody who's going online. Don't just blush somebody. You don't know what they're going through. Your tweet or your post could be that one last thing that will make that person kill themselves. You know? And now that I see it, one of the things I've decided is I'm never, ever going to care about what anybody says. Never. You can say whatever you want. I'm never going to. I've decided I'm going to live a happy life. It's not worth to be stressed by what people think or say about me. It's, it's just not worth it. And so one of my resolutions as I came back from India, I'm going to live a happy life.
I'll do what I want for me. Yes. As long as I'm right with God, yeah. if you're not okay with it, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I just gotta have to do me. Yeah. It's important that you mentioned you got out of depression. But then how did you get out? How did you manage to get out? For somebody who is inside there. First of all, uh, of course it was through prayer. Uh, I had to pray a lot. I had to talk to, you know, close people. Yeah who were able to come for me and, you know, be there for me. My family was there for me. Of course, also, when I got the financial breakthrough, it also significantly reduced my stress. Because, yeah. you know, when you don't have money, it can be very stressful, yeah. and especially if you're a celebrity. Yeah. So when I got my financial breakthrough, it also somehow reduced the, the, the pain. Yeah. But you see, you can have money, but if you still have this cloud of people don't like you, always following you, you know, it sometimes can be very detrimental. But this whole experience has also helped me to see that I got people who really, really love me. Yeah. At the end of the day, I have so many people who love me. Yeah. I mean, thousands and thousands of comments, and all of them are positive. We love you. We're praying for you. Don't worry, you belong to us. You know, those positive messages also help me seriously to heal. Because positive vibes, you know, have a way of healing somebody. Yeah. Being a celebrity, being delegate, having given us so many heat, being auction, being having slept in the car for months, and you say it was something that you invested like all your money into a business. What what did that make you learn? What did you learn from Don't trust in people. Um, uh, trust in God. And, and don't... You know, when I was going through stuff, my friends walked away from me. They, they, I mean, very few people remained, one or two maybe. But the rest of the people who I used to pay bills for were not there for me. Um, so I learned that I needed to focus on building my life, building a foundation that is strong. Yeah. And, and that is what I've been doing. That's why I do business away from music, because I need to establish my, my life. Because when you're on top, everybody wants you. Everybody wants a piece of you. The moment you go down, hey, you're alone. Alone. Are these friends also celebrity friends? By the way, <laughs> celebrity friends, if you're a celebrity, don't bank on celebrity friends. You need to have friends who are in different fields, maybe professionals. Because celebrities, how we are wired is, because we are used to things being done for us, we, we get accustomed to that kind of lifestyle, where people do things for you, people give you favors. So when you don't receive that, it, it sort of makes you feel, and that's why you see some celebrities are not able to handle uh, being a celebrity. Yeah. Because they're, they're used to things done for them all the time. People are adoring them, praising them. Yeah. So when they go to a place where people are not recognizing them, they feel offended. But it also helped me learn that I don't care if you're a celebrity, I don't care if you're a small person, I respect you. Yeah. I talk to anybody. I respect everybody. Yeah. Hey, what's up? This is Jimmy Gate and you're watching Mpasho TV. Don't get out of there. Stay there.